Trouwe. My name is Julian Assange, and I'm recording this for you from inside the Ecuadorian Embassy of London, where I have been for almost two years now. This book, Cyberpunks, the Serbian language edition, is a conversation between myself and three others involved in the long fight against technological totalitarianism. It is a book about how the internet is at once our greatest liberator and also our greatest potential enslaver. Never before has every country been dominated by such a phenomenon at the same moment of time. This book, therefore, is a warning. It is a warning about how strategic surveillance and control technologies, especially those deployed en masse by the US-dominated Five Eyes Intelligence Alliance, are gaining global, automated control over states, organizations, and individuals. But it is also about how the internet can be used as a weapon against this general tendency. This book is written for us, the last free generation, for a generation that lives at a time in between. It is a book written for a time just before the global surveillance dystopia finally matures and binds all of us into its web. We live in a time in between, but Serbia is a country in between. Like many countries in between, the Ukraine among them, Serbia is a pivotal pioneering place. It is a place where the future happens first, for all its horrors and all its beauties. Like all pioneers, Serbia is a country that is constantly misrepresented. Misrepresented by decision makers and opinion formers, by the outside world, and yes, sadly, sometimes by Serbians themselves. Sometimes it is misrepresented because it is misunderstood. As <coughs> this much is demonstrated in material published by Wikileaks. You can go to search.wikileaks.org and see the thousands of cables uh, published by us about Serbia. At other times, as our material shows, Serbia is distorted, condemned and patronized by the outside world in a conscious and even cynical manner. Sometimes the world does not feel entitled merely to distort Serbia, sometimes it has felt entitled to attack it. As everybody knows, just 15 years ago, Serbian journalists were bombed from the air by NATO and killed. This is the only time that NATO has admitted to intentionally killing journalists. Yes, Serbian journalists were killed under Milosevic, but Serbian journalists were also killed by NATO. Not surprisingly, many Serbs are not sure who to trust. They cannot trust the murderers and criminals from the Milosevic era. They cannot trust the East, and they cannot trust the West. And not surprisingly, Serbian journalists, not all of them of course, but many, are driven by passion, determination, and a powerful idea of the truth. Serbia then is positioned in between. But this is not a position of weakness. This is a position of strength. It is a position of opportunity which makes people hungry for the truth and grants them the necessary perspective to recognize it when they find it. This book, too, provides a set of intellectual perspectives about our moment in between, about the internet and the politics and technology of the 21st century and where it leads. I hope the tactics and strategies it describes will be deployed to powerful effect by readers here and service.